So I couldn't resist it. Um, I actually went back and used a, a drill to align these equalizer bars properly. And then I, I tidied up each end. So they're now at the same length and tidied up this little cutout in the corner here. I still got to tidy up these inside edges of the axle boxes, um, but they're, they're completely non-functional. So I might just give, give it a little go with uh, one of these small files just to try and straighten them up a little. Um, but overall, I'm very pleased with how that's come out. It's interesting, you can see the difference between the equalizer bar and axle boxes that I've gone with wet and dry and the one that's just raw filing. There we go. So uh, at least that's been done. Don't know how well this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try and fly cut the top surface of this. Um, if it doesn't work, it's no big deal. I'll just use the end mill, but I just wanna see what happens. So. So I'm not really sure how to deal with this. Um, I need to get these surfaces here flat so I can grip it properly. Uh, but at the same time, um, I, I can't I can't grip them any other way and machine all around here in one go um, without having to reposition it somewhere. So I'm, <laughs> I must admit, I'm just a little lost. I think I'm going to do it this way around, which is to grip it here. I've got a aluminium bar in there. So I'm holding the new flat face up against the fixed jaw. I'm using a mirror to... Uh, to work out where on that flat face I'm going to be moving the cutter to and try and mill up to the lines on that. And then I will be able to put a parallel on top of this face when I flip it upside down and get the other side parallel to this one. I think that's the idea. This is my setup for milling the uh, bottom face of the stretcher. It doesn't strictly need to be done, uh, but I think I'm going to be doing a lot of clamping. so. May as well just get that sorted. I'm also going to use this opportunity to get down these two faces here and on the rear um, to the same height as well because uh, that will be a factor too and uh, I might as well bring down these rails at the same time. We are uh, essentially finished with the bogey stretcher now. Um, it's pretty straight, it's pretty parallel, I'm pretty happy. Um, this is one of the side plates, so that will go on there, and then this fits on top, and that's how we have springing for the bogey. So really pleased with how that's come out. Um, I need to draw a few holes, but I can't do that until I've spotted them through from this piece. And uh, there will be some spring, some holes for some springs for uh, side control on the uh, bogey pivot pin eventually. But uh, yeah, it's coming along.